Welcome to Module 5, Lesson 10. Let's get started. Today we'll be learning how to compare unit fractions by reasoning about their size using fraction strips. We are learning this so that we can understand fractions as equal parts of a whole. And we will know that we're successful when we can use fraction strips to compare unit fractions. What do you notice about the fraction strips? They are in order from biggest to smallest. Eighths are the smallest, even though eight is the largest number. How many times would we fold a strip of paper to get two halves? We would fold it one time to get two halves. How many times would we fold a strip of paper to get three thirds? Fold two times to get three thirds. So think of these demarcations here as the fold lines. So which unit fraction is larger? One half is larger than one third. One half is split into two equal pieces and one third is split into three smaller equal pieces. We can use fraction strips to compare unit fractions. Remember that the greater than looks like this. The smaller than or less than looks like this. And equals, t equals look just like this. Is one fourth greater than, less than, or equal to one fourth? Third. One fourth is less than one third. Joe has baked a pie. Will he get bigger slices if he cuts it into two pieces or three pieces? Two pieces would look like this. Three pieces would look like this. So which one is bigger? He will get bigger slices if he cuts it into two pieces. What would happen to the size of the slices if Joe cut the pie into equal four pieces? the slices will get even smaller. Four equal pieces looks like this. Is one third greater than or less than one eighth? Draw a fraction strip to compare. One third would look about like this, and one eighth would look about like this. So one third would be quite a bit bigger than one eighth. So we can say that one third is greater than one eighth. One third is greater than one eighth. I drew a fraction strip and I can see that 
one third is bigger than one eighth. Let's check our answer. Answer one third is greater than one eighth. Now it's your turn to complete a redraw write question on your own. We'll read the question together, then you'll make your drawing and write out your answer. And when you're satisfied that you've done your very best work, you can look in the description box below to check your answer against the correct answer. Is one half greater than or less than one fifth? Draw a fraction strip to compare. Go ahead and pause the video here and I'll see you in the next lesson.